Welcome back to the Portable Podcast. You're watching the Sly Guy, the Sly Guy, the Sly Guy, and now we're going to be changing clothes to get them to that motel. Let's see if we can get some uh, clean lady clothes for Kara. And get dry clothes for Alice. Yes, we can. I'm sorry, Alice. Shut up. To do this. <laughs> Man, technology is amazing. <laughs> asleep. Never sleep in a laundromat. Never sleep in a laundromat. that abandoned car. Uh oh. Guy almost woke up. Century. Nope, we're done. Now let's get the hell out of here. Get out. The same way we okay. <laughs> Well, at least she's dry now. And the guy's still asleep. <laughs> sleep. Continue to sleep. Now we can go into the motel. Hello, motel. You. Oh no, we still need forty dollars. Okay. Oh yes, we're gonna rob the drugstore. <laughs> I remember this. Part of a twenty-four, the Seven Eleven, the Kevin Eleven store. Door is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store, lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. to find a plan. Because it's fun. Alice, just trust me. Let's go, Alice. Do it. They're gonna be the most wanted tandem in the world. You all right? Are you hurt? 
Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. Fuck! Oh, yeah. Precisely. <laughs> That's what happened to you. Now? You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. Because we need a place to stay. Unless you want to go back to your. You're right. Abusive dad. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again. Let's go to the motel. Let's go to the motel. We now have the cash. So that's how to survive a night in Detroit. Hi. Hi. Hey. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. Just need your name and address. Can I see your driver's license? We we were in a rush. <laughs> I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Oh yes, we can. Have a good night. Tomorrow will be scot free. Can I? Let's go. To this. Perfect accommodations. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Yes. Oh, of course it's on the second floor. Yeah, this is a big improvement over a heavy rain. Nice and warm, huh? Normally, you use the card to open the lights in the room. Power the electricity. Now, both of them are safe. Because <clears throat> they were being abused by Todd, the scumbag. Here, give me your coat. Oh, poor Alice. Soaking wet. Yep, you don't want her to catch a cold or get a fever. Yeah, poor Alice. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. So at least we'll be drier now when they travel tomorrow. about hanging your clothes to dry. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Well, he's a scumbag. Why can't we just be happy? 